Configuring Garbage Collection for Cloud BCI Running Java 11. With the release of Cloud BCI 2.332.1.4, you can now run your controllers and your agents using Java 11. However, if you already had your garbage collection settings set up for Java 8, those garbage collection settings change with Java 11. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through a migration from a controller running Java 8 to running Java 11. Here's today's starting point. I have a Cloud BCI client controller, so this is running on traditional platforms, version 2.332.1.5. I'm also running this controller with Java 8. Let's go ahead and click into our controller and understand what items look like now with a 2.332.1 based controller. First off, you're going to notice an administrative monitor stating important notice about Java 8 support. The most important part of this administrative monitor is that the ability to run the product on Java 8 may be removed from newer releases as of June 2020. So you need to understand that at some point in the near future, based on the time of recording, the ability to run Cloud BCI with Java 8 will be no longer supported and you will have to be running Java 11. So if you see this administrative monitor, you need to go ahead and start evaluating, okay, what do I need to do in order to get from Java 8 to Java 11? And that's what this video is for. Now I want to also prove out what version of Java 8 that we're running. We'll take a look at system information and we'll scroll down to Java runtime version and you can see that it's 180322. Let's also go in and verify how our process that is running our CloudBees controller is running. So I'm going to go into my shell and I'm going to run status on my process. And you can see here that we have a long line of processes that are running here. We can see our Etsy Alternatives Java. We see some dash D's here. We see some dash XX's that are related to our garbage collection. So it's a fairly long list. But where did all of these configuration options come from? There is a knowledge base article at support.cloudbees.com called Prepare Jenkins for Support. And if we take a look at that, if we scroll down into the Java configuration section, that's section A, and go down to JVM recommended arguments, the link to this knowledge base article is down in the description. What you'll see is a JDK 11 section, we'll take a look at that in a few moments, and then JDK 8. So the vast majority of the settings that I have running this controller right now were a copy and paste from this section. Now, if you were to copy and paste this and put it into your Etsy sysconfig, if you're on a Fedora-based distribution or in your Etsy default file, if you're on a Debian-based distribution, you'll notice this dollar sign path. Don't think of this as the environment variable path, it's not. And if you read through the documentation, what you'll see is this dollar sign path is just an indicator of, hey, you need to replace this with an actual value. So if you were to take a look at my configuration one more time, if you were to take a look at error file, for example, I have fully qualified the path for where I want this file to go. So if you take a look at XX error file, and it's a full path and HS error, if we get back over here to this side, what you're going to see is this error file dollar sign path. So I replace my dollar sign path with slash var slash log slash cloudbees core cm. And since we already know that the controller is up and running fine with Java 8, we also have our administrative monitor saying important notice about Java 8 support. What we're going to expect is once we upgrade from Java 8 to Java 11, then we're going to expect this administrative monitor to go away. Makes sense, right? We're no longer running 8, we're running 11. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back over to our console. Let's clear this out. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to stop our process. Sort of a smart thing to do. We don't want to try to upgrade Java under the hood while things are running. So we've stopped the process. And in fact, I am going to verify that it's stopped by running my status. And we can see that the process is no longer running. It's what we wanted. Let's go ahead and upgrade our version of Java. In my case, I'm running the Timurn-based distribution of JDK 11. So this will take just a few moments. 
Now that our Java version is upgraded, let's see what happens when we run Java Dash version. So the default version of Java running on this controller now is 11.0.14.1. So it's the most recent version at the time of recording. Let's go ahead and let's start our Clobby's Corsium service back up. And then let's check our status. And if we take a look at the status, we can see that the process failed. And if we scroll down and look inside of the log that's here, we can see that there is an unrecognized VM option, number of GC log files equals two. Couldn't create the JVM and a fatal exception occurred. So what that means is at least this option has to change. And in fact, there's even more that have to change. Let's go back up and check our documentation again for preparing Jenkins for support. Now you can see here with JDK 8, we have a very long list. But if we scroll back up for JDK 11, we can see that list is shorter, but you'll notice that X log GC. Notice how this line sort of goes on to almost infinity. It just keeps scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Well, with the items that were here for GCs in this list, these items have been translated into this one line. That's one of the changes when moving from Java 8 to Java 11. So what I have here is a way to compare these changes. I have a diff of the configuration that I was using to spin up on the left, my Java 8 based controller. And then here I have my version that's necessary for the Java 11 based controller. So you'll notice that this whole section running from line 89 to 101 are the settings for Java 8. But you'll see that all of this collapsed into a single line, line 89. So the big changes moving from Java 8 to Java 11 is needing to reconfigure what your garbage collection settings are. Since this is set up as an Ansible playbook, I'm going to run my playbook for Java 11 against this controller and go ahead and get all of these settings removed and get this setting added in. If you're not using Ansible or some other tool, you would just go in and modify your sysconfig file if you're on Fedora or your default file if you're on a Debian-based distribution. So let's go back over to our shell. I'm going to verify one more time that the status is really down. It is. So what I'm going to do off on the side is I'm going to run my playbook to go ahead and change from Java 8 to Java 11. And once that completes, what we're going to do is we're going to verify by trying to restart our process again. And let's verify that this actually ran correctly. Let's cat out our sysconfig, Etsy. Actually, we'll have to do sudo cat Etsy sysconfig and then Cloudbees core CM. And we can see here now we have this one line that was really long that includes all of our Java 11 settings. So I'm going to go ahead and let's clear this. And now let's go ahead and start up our controller. And then finally, let's go ahead and check the status. And what we're going to see here is that the service started successfully. It's running. That's good. We can see our long, long line here for our GC information. And it said started. So this can take a few moments. So let's go over and see if the controller has started up completely yet. What we can see when we go into Manage Jenkins is that we no longer have the administrative monitor talking about Java 8. And we can also verify that by taking a look at system information and scrolling down to Java runtime version. And we can see here that we're running 11.0.14.1. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.